Welcome to our orientation video series for the Wisconsin Council on Special Education. My name is Daniel Parker, Assistant Director of Special Education, and in my role, I support our Council on Special Education. Hello, my name is Rita Fuller, and I am the Family Engagement Consultant on the Special Education Team, and I am the Consultant Liaison to our Council on Special Education. For this Council orientation video series, we will cover the following topics the mission, authority, and membership of the Council on Special Education, the roles and responsibilities of council members, council meeting processes and key topics that are typically discussed during council meetings, travel reimbursement and logistics, as well as we will review some council resources that may be useful to new and returning council members. The mission of the Council on Special Education is to promote the education of children with disabilities by providing broad-based input to the Department of Public Instruction. The Council on Special Education is a committee appointed by the Wisconsin State Superintendent to advise the Wisconsin Department of Public Instruction and its Division of Learning Support in matters related to the education of children with disabilities in Wisconsin. Both federal and state laws require state educational agencies, such as the Wisconsin Department of Public Instruction, to develop and engage with a state council on special education. The two links above provide information about national and Wisconsin state requirements to facilitate a council on special education. Specifically, the Council on Special Education supports students who are eligible for special education that is delivered through an Individualized Education Program, or IEP, under the Individuals with Disabilities Act, also known as IDEA. This diagram provides a visual representation showing that students who receive special education through an IEP, also known as IDEA, eligible students, represent a smaller group within the population of all students. It is important to remember that students with IEPs are part of the group of all students. That is, students with IEPs who receive special education have the same rights to accessing grade level academic programs, school resources, and extracurricular programs as all other students. In addition, when people use the term disability, this can also mean a larger population of students in addition to students who receive special education through an IEP and also includes students who may receive supports through Section 504 of the Americans with Disabilities Act, or ADA. ADA is a different federal law from IDEA, and there is a different agency responsible and authorized to monitor and enforce the requirements of ADA in Section 504. The Office of Civil Rights is that agency. For students who receive special education through an IEP under IDA or IDEA, state educational agencies, like the Wisconsin Department of Public Instruction, are authorized to provide support, monitor, and enforce the requirements of IDA with local school districts across the state. Thus, the topics covered in council meetings specifically relate to IDEA eligible students. Anyone in Wisconsin may self-nominate or be nominated by an individual or organization to serve on the Council of Special Education for a three-year term. Each year, the State Superintendent of Public Instruction appoints new members to the Council on Special Education and may also appoint a member to Council when a position becomes vacant due to a resignation from a Council member. Midterm replacements serve the remaining term of the council member they replaced. Go to council membership webpage for more information and current council roster. Wisconsin DPI strives to have advisory councils that reflects the racial, ethnic, and geographic diversity of Wisconsin's student population. In addition, both state and federal statute requires that at least one half of all council members are either a parent of a child with a disability or a person with a disability. Furthermore, state and federal statutes identify several required roles of the council members. The federally required council roles include parents of children with disability, ages birth through 26, individuals with disabilities, teachers, representatives of institutions of higher education that prepare special education and related services personnel, 
state and local education officials, including officials who carry out activities under Subtitle B of the Title VII of the McKinney-Vento Homeless Assistance Act. Administrators of programs for children with disabilities, representatives of other state agencies involved in the financing or delivery of related services to children with disabilities, representatives of private schools and public charter schools, not less than one representative of a vocational, community, or business organization concerned with the provision of transition services to children with disabilities, a representative from the state child welfare agency responsible for foster care, and representatives from the state juvenile and adult correction agencies. Wisconsin state statutes match the federal requirements for a statutorily required council membership. In addition to the federal requirements, Wisconsin calls out both special and regular education teachers, as well as includes tribal school representatives as required roles for the Council on Special Education.